Hello everybody, this is Sheldon from Shell Rock Art 67 on Instagram. I've had, as you can see inside of this puppy pool, I had several failures over the last couple of days. Some I had already posted that I scraped that didn't that didn't turn out for me at the end. Whether it was something not being leveled. I got photographs, so hopefully I can get some prints made of the work that, I, that was done in its wet stage when it was dried. Everything kind of slid to one side or it was just horrible. So I'm going to try to, I just put my little push pins on this canvas and tested it to make sure it was level when I sit it on the floor. So that way, when I'm done, I'm at least a little bit confident that nothing's gonna slide. So I got my little push pins on the bottom of this and I just painted some uh, artist loft black on it. This is gonna be another attempt at a dump and swirl. Normally with something like this, I try to do one of those pearl pores where I'm kind of like going off the edges and they all pull them to the side. But this is a little bit different. So let's see how this one goes. So I'm going to go with some white on the bottom. I want some of that white to come up. I'm going to do like a little elongated oval, oval uh, pour. So I guess I'll go with some of this violet and some of this, this rose, some of this blue, some of this gold champagne gold and some of this come back here let me see if I can move move it this way a little bit okay. and some of this emerald green and then I'll pour the black on top I'll go low Dump it real quick, like that. All right, now I'm gonna move some of this around. Let me go for those corners. Usually with extreme sheen, I get a whole lot of reaction versus the other paint. And already, I'm feeling that reaction. The last paint did me no good. So hopefully this will take me to where I want to be. As far as the Pearls go. Let me take a little bit more off this edge. I want it to stretch pretty good. And then I'm going to bring it back this way because it's already reacting. That's what I was looking for. So please don't be a fail tonight. This way a little bit and let it sit. Alright.
Yeah, that's that uh, extreme sheen is very reactive. I'm so glad that it is. Um, I see that I'm getting some nice, um, got some weird shaped pearls coming up in here. But overall, I got some nice color coming up. Let me hit this corner a little bit. Maybe pop some bubbles. Maybe root up something in there. Maybe root up something in there. Okay. Personally, that reacted a little too much. But it's a whole lot better than it was when it didn't react at all. I think I'm just going to be have to be satisfied with this one. And I'm not even going to mess with it. Even when it's done. There were other times I put little modifications here or modifications there. I don't think I'm going to do anything with this. I'm just going to let it do its thing. And hopefully it will be something that I like. I'm getting tired. Anyway, let me bring you down for a closer look. As you can see, all the different colored... Um, extreme machine is coming through the black. These little funky shaped things I don't quite like, but that happened as a result of tilting. I like these little round, the round ones here. See, that's what I'm looking for. But this I wasn't looking for. But overall, I think it looks fairly decent. If I can just keep that black from not getting swallowed up, it's not too bad. So let's hope for the best, okay? Well, thank you for watching, and this is Sheldon from Sherlock R67 on Instagram. Good night.